On top 10's net, 10 most reliable news sources, number 10 is Wall Street. However, there is something that might contradict this. As you all might have known, recently there was a screenshot, well, many screenshots, but and a news article, which I can't view because I'm not subscribed to them, but I do have a screenshot of one of their things, which is this. Apparently, there's been ads being shown on racist videos, and this has caused issues, which includes companies such as Microsoft and Coca-Cola boycotting YouTube for advertising. However, one thing you should know about this is that this screenshot might actually be fake. First of all, you should see it says this. It says sign in over here. Which shows that the person who's viewing this is not logged in. It's also odd that this doesn't seem to have anything to do with this video, per se. And this also has nothing to do with something... Well, I'm not even going to say it different news the thing is if you'd signed in you wouldn't really get recommendations grant it doesn't say recommended by but it may as well and if you saw and if you're not signed in I seriously doubt that you get adverts and it's also kind of odd that it's giving credit here So, is this screenshot fake then? It might be, it might not be. Of course, there is no real way of knowing. But, the point is, you should not always take screenshots as evidence. There's been issues with PewDiePie over anti-Semitic comments. After he was blast, met, created a 30 minute video blasting Jack Nickus, the one who wrote the article. It was. However, Wall Street still stands by its March 24th report. And that the that the major brand advertisements were running alongside objectionable videos on YouTube. They also said that any claim that the related screenshots or any other reporting was in any way fabricated or doctored is outrageous and false. The screenshots related to the article, which represent only some of those that were found, were captured on March twenty third and March twenty fourth. However, it does not mean that it's accurate. You, we cannot just take things for granted really. If we if we don't trust like Fox News and that for their articles, why should we tr why is Wall Street any different? A while ago, someone on a website I use which is ESB Encyclopedia SpongeBobia made this for screenshots on chat. They say different things. However, I'm going to show you a look of them so you can see which one is fake and which one is not. Can't tell the difference, can you? The blog says it's the second one. And there is logs to prove this on the chat, but it's actually fairly easy to do this. Which means that we cannot just say, you can't go, picture it or it didn't happen, that's not a good message. That is definitely not a good message, especially on the internet. You don't even need Photoshop.
to this. Like, I use Chrome, and there is something known as Inspect Element. Like, for example, this is blocked by the client, but still I can do... If I can try it, I could change the title of this. Yeah, this might take a while. But it still is plausible and it still will prove my point. Let's do this for example. This looks real, but it's really not. A quick reload will show you what the actual page looks like. It's, yeah, it's actually very, very easy to fabricate screenshots. So, I think the only way you could pretty much prove something on the internet is if there's like a link to it. You could try things like Internet Archives in case it's been taken down. Or something like that. Either way, the message is clear. You should not use screenshots as evidence. And it's hurting other channels as well. I recently saw a video by Anime America about how they're losing revenue because of this attack. Now, I don't know if this is true or not. Maybe the screenshots were not fabricated. However, something does seem fishy about this. And there is also the possibility that the companies didn't know about this and it was really an accident because, well, you kind of just get adverts everywhere, really. Like, there, like I receive lots of adverts that don't appeal to my target audience, for example. But, yeah, so... Screenshots are not the best thing to use. Like I said, you don't even need to use Photoshop or anything. You could easily use Inspect Element if you have Google Chrome. So, next time you want to make a point about something online, don't give a screenshot. Give the link, and we'll decide if it's true or false.